it's time to finally say goodbye to the hydration bladder. Hey everyone, Ghostman here, and welcome back to Everyday Backpacker. As I mentioned before, I started backpacking in the late 90s. Now in those early trips, we used pretty much primarily the indelible Nalgene water bottle. Now unfortunately, those early internal frame backpacks we were using at the time left something to be desired when it came to getting these in and out of the side pockets. Any backpacker of that time would tell you that they would have loved to have been able to dislocate their shoulder on demand just to be able to get these things in and out without having to ask your buddy for help. Now a few years into my backpacking journey, a new fad came along that promised to revolutionize backpacking from its very core. Now I know what you're thinking. What? Backpackers falling for fads? That would never happen. Not in a million years. You're talking silly talk. Okay, I get the irony. I just bought an x mid I'm well aware of that. We all fall for it, so put the keyboard down. Of course, that new fad that came along was none other than the hydration bladder system. And so, just like everybody else, I ran out and bought one. When I first got it, I did realize that there were a couple advantages. One, I definitely was staying better hydrated because it was more convenient to getting water out in and out of the bottles. And two, I was fitting in with everybody else finally. <coughs> Unfortunately, that's where my love affair with the hydration bladder stopped. There were way more issues that I had with it than I liked about it. First off, which most people complain about, is the taste. They really did, especially in the early days, taste like plastic. It was pretty nasty. Second, it was really inconvenient in camp. Anyone that has ever used a hydration bladder can probably tell you how much of a pain in the butt it is to stand there with your hydration bottle held over your head, trying to empty the water into your pot in the exact amount that you need for your food. Not fun. And finally, not only was I not super thrilled about the idea of having two liters of water crammed inside of my pack with all the things that I don't want wet, but also, this thing is a big pain in the ass to try to get in and out of a fully loaded pack. So at the end of the day, I had to make the decision that it just wasn't for me. And so when I finally got a pack that was a lot easier to get the bottles in and out of the packs on the side, this guy here was relegated to the old gear tub of shame. In fact, I'm not even sure why I still have the dang thing. Now for those of you that are frantically typing out a comment in the comment section below, trying to defend hydration bladders, I get it. This is just my opinion. It's just gear that doesn't work for me. If it works for you, that's awesome. Keep using it, you rock. Hooray! And so ever since then, I've been relegated to using bottles. And while that has suited me just fine, I do have to admit that from time to time, I did miss the convenience of being able to get the water right out of the straw. And so when I was approached with the possibility of trying out a new product that claimed to be able to turn a bottle into a hydration system, I jumped at the chance. And that product was the One Bottle Hydration System. The One Bottle Hydration System can turn your bottle of choice into a convenient hydration system. It interests me because it's the best of both worlds. Not only do I have the convenience of bottles in camp, but I also have the, the convenience of a hydration system while I'm hiking. Hopefully it'll keep me a little bit better hydrated. Currently the one bottle system is made by one guy in Connecticut and it comes with the cap and valve, the tubing, a bite valve, and a convenient clip. The bite valve for this is very similar to what you would find on the current hydration systems, including an on-off valve, which is convenient so that you're not just dribbling water down the front of you like you would if you just got done at the dentist and your face is still numb with Novocaine. And it comes also comes with a very convenient tethered cover to keep the trail dust from getting into your mouth every time you go for a drink. The clip that it comes with is a very convenient, simple, swiveling design that comes with two different hook systems for two different size straps. Or, for an extra five dollars, you can get a magnetic clip system for extra convenience. This I really do like and is worth the extra money. But the really important part of this system is in fact the cap and valve assembly right here. Now this one is a 28 millimeter. You can also get it in wide mouth and versions that are compatible with certain Yeti products. And the way it works is pretty simple. You just get a water bottle, in this case one that has a 28 millimeter uh, top, and unscrew the lid. They also have these very convenient replacement lids that can tether onto the bottle so you don't lose that lid. The straw goes inside like that, and it just screws on, supported from the bottom. And now your bottle is, in fact, the hydration system. 
And one of the coolest features on here is this little valve here on the side. This valve allows air inside of here so that as you are drinking, it doesn't suck the sides of your bottles in until they meet and cause the blood vessels in your forehead to rupture. This valve also has a little bit of a stopper in there, and that prevents water from sloshing out, spilling down into the pocket, and then eventually down in your leg to make it feel like you've peed yourself on trail again. I don't want to talk about that. And the system is designed to work vertically. If you do invert this or set it tilted to the side, water will eventually come out of there anyways. So make sure your bottle is sitting as vertical as it can inside the pocket of your pack. And that's all there is to it. Just put the bottle into the hydration or the pocket on the side of your pack, clip this onto your strap, and you're ready to go. Just as easily as opening up that valve, removing the dust cap. Quick and easy access to water. Now so far in my experience, that little squeaking noising as you drink is a normal thing. But I think that's a small price to pay for the convenience of the system. Now when I took the system out to field test it, I noticed that it sat in the pocket really easily and the tubing went up alongside the uh, pack and did not hang out and get away uh, from the pack. So I didn't, I'm not too worried about it collecting on things as I go through. The one bottle hydration system tops the scale at 2.7 ounces and retails between $24 and $28 depending on which system you go with. Now, although this seems like a minor inconvenience thing to have an entire piece of equipment dedicated to, I do think the convenience of having the easy access hydration is worth the little bit of weight that you're going to gain from this system. And so for all of that, I'm really excited to try this system out in the field in the future. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And as always, keep hiking on.